So right. they were righteous because when they sinned, because they always sinned, they will come back and um, they will follow the guidelines of God, which is offer this, offer that, do this, go to the temple, show yourself to the priest, etc. Yeah. So it's like that represented their cleansing. Yeah. So they would mess up and keep on messing up because it was in their nature. nature. But they, since they wanted to be right with God, they would do the things that he said for them to do. Now, why would God say all these things? Do this if you sin. Do this if you do that. Do that if you do this. If he didn't expect them to sin. He expected them to sin because he, he knew their nature. He knew, nature that he knew that they were the non type of people. The sinners. Uh -huh. Not the righteous, not understand God, not see God. So it's like he knew what to bring about because of their nature. So God's plan wasn't all, wasn't like his final plan wasn't the old covenant, what we read in the Old Testament. Yeah. That's events that took place and happened. And there were events that led up to the main event, which yeah. is Christ coming. Mm -hmm. Now, when Christ comes, it's not the exact same thing that we see in the old covenant. Now, everything we see in the old in the New Testament um, and regarding the new covenant, it was foreshadowed by the old covenant, by the old testament. So like Blood, uh -huh. temple, uh -huh. um, God's glory, all that stuff was basically like a uh, a shadow or a uh, sample or an image of what we would have in the new covenant. Uh -huh. Temple, but everything's different. Temple, blood of Jesus, not on earth, but in heaven. Um, the lamb, he's the lamb. Like all, the, all, all these images, all these foreshadows of what was to come. What was to come was greater. Why? Because what was to come, it was... Uh, Let's get to it, actually. Okay. Good stuff, man. Verse 15. Yes, sir. And, and before you get into verse 15 and 14, uh -huh. um, you know how it says right after that, it's talking about nevertheless, you know, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam. Um, what is it talking about right there? Adam to Moses, even over those who had not sinned, according to the likeness of the transgression of Adam. So it's basically, who is the type of him who was to come? So it's basically, even though, this, let me give you this, even though we're born and we never ate of the fruit that Adam ate of, uh -huh. because Eve uh -huh. gave him to eat, and she ate of, and she was deceived. So it's like, serpent deceived Eve, Eve ate, she gave to the man, Man was like, yeah, sure. It's not that like the man was like, no, I won't do it. No, the man did it. Like, <laughs> he did it, right? So they did that. What do we have to do with it? What did the man from Adam to Moses have to do with it? Uh -huh. Nothing. How were they born? Basically saying death was still reigning yeah. from all these people, even though they never did what Adam did. Gotcha. So even though they didn't sin at all, they still had um, a sinful nature. And um, so, like, basically saying, like, they had lived, they lived a righteous life, you know what I'm saying? Like, after that, says, who was the type of him who was to come? They were saying they were kind of like Jesus already, but they had a simple nature. So, you see what I'm saying? Is, it, is that what it's saying? No, no, no. It was, I, I know what you're saying. Okay. No, he, yeah, I probably, I probably sounded confusing. Let me, let me say the same thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, it's basically saying they did, like you said, they did not sin like Adam in the beginning. Basically saying they did not do anything. To bring about that sinful nature yeah. that made them sin. They sin because they say also they did not bring that upon themselves like Adam did, but they were those people who who sinned. Oh, okay. You know, there were those people who were born sinners. Basically, death was reigning, so sin was reigning through all these people, even though they never did what Adam did. Because what Adam did, and then we go back and says, through one man that yeah, came. Yeah, so it's yeah. basically saying, Hey, Adam, you were the first guy and you brought this on all of us. Yeah. That's what it's saying. Yeah. But then it's saying that Adam, this is, what it, this is where, where you get this from. He was the likeness of the, uh, uh, the, a type of him who was to come. What is that saying? Just like Adam did what nobody, nobody else had to do to bring about that sin and that death terrain. He's a type of, of Christ. Christ, when he came, he did something that we didn't do. Just like humans, we were born sinners because of what Adam did. Uh -huh. Born again people, when we're born again, we're born again righteous, even though we never did anything to become righteous. So it's like Adam did something and it brought up the nature upon humankind. 
but then he's the type of one to come. Who? Christ. Christ did something. Fulfilled the law, everything. Boom, walked out righteous, just knew the Father, then died. He did something that will give us something that we never fought for. Right. We never did. We never, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. saying? So like, Adam's sin brought about sinful nature, even though we didn't earn it. Christ, he walked out righteousness, gave us a righteousness to us. Just like 2 Corinthians 5, 21, when we didn't earn it, we didn't work for it. That's what it's saying. It's crazy. I mean, what's up, bro? Come in, come in. What's up, bro? I don't want to interrupt anything. Just, just came to see what's up? Yeah, man. Okay. Doing all right? Yes, sir. We're talking about Romans 5 and Romans 3, bro. Mm, you're right. So, <laughs> hey, everybody get left. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense. From the law to Moses, I mean, from Adam to Moses, it was still, it was still going down. Uh -huh. Because the law didn't make people sinners. The law stirs something up in sinners to want to sin even more. Adam made people sinners because he was the first man. Then it says he was a shadow of the one to come. We didn't make ourselves righteous. 